As you can see, the loggers have been real busy. Two and a half face cords of wood. Rich and I had already made a commitment to do two review videos. The chimichanga? <laughs> chimichanga. Hi, I'm Kathy. And I'm Rich. And today we are going to take a quick walk through the woods on the logging trail that the guys made, the skid trail? Yeah, the skidder trail. And we're going to update you on the dome and where we're at and how the winter went and what's going on right now. The loggers have been real busy. They're just about done, and we will be posting a video about the logging soon. But we wanted to just talk to you a little bit about our winter and how everything's been. It was a pretty good winter for us, right, honey? Yeah, pretty mild. Not a heck of a lot of snow. No, not at all. Only a few cold days, really. And what did we go through? Like two and a half face cords of wood, keeping the dome warm? About that, yes. So not even a cord of wood to keep us warm this winter. But like Rich said, it was a mild winter and we do have a lot of buttoning up to still do that we didn't get finished. Yes, we do. The list is long, Kathy. <laughs> yes, it is, honey. We haven't gotten as much done as we wanted to because we had a lot of things going on. We had a little bit of a scare with Dad. Yeah. Dad was in the hospital for about six weeks and he got out just in time to celebrate Mom's 79th birthday. So everybody's doing good now. Our daughter, Christina, is going to have a baby the end of this month. So Rich and I spent a week in Florida throwing her a baby shower. Yeah, we took a little bit of a road trip. Yeah, so that was fun. We drove down and back. Wow. This is our side yard basically, and you could see what the logging does. They still have a lot to clean up, so I'm hopeful that it won't look like this when they're done. But right now, we want to get to that skid road right there. What is that? Yeah. <clears throat> That's the cable that goes on a skid, it must have broke. Oh, like 30 years ago? Yeah. When they first logged the land? Yeah. Oh, that's not going anywhere. So before Dad ended up in the hospital, Rich and I had already made a commitment to do two review videos. Right. And you've seen, a lot of people have seen those videos. The one was the Timu, or Temu video, which we got a lot of comments on, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And the other one was the... Um... Portable power station. Right. And, um, but a lot of people didn't like the fact that we did the te Temu, Temu video. A lot of people accuse us of being a sellout and that kind of thing, you know, and, you know, as you become a little more popular on YouTube, people reach out and offer you things and offer to pay money for advertisements. And we get those offers all the time. Most of the time I just delete them. And, you know, YouTube hasn't really been cutting it lately. I'm not sure why they're not putting our videos out there for viewing or anything like that. So what Rich is talking about is the fact that our revenue that we make from YouTube is down 75% of wow. what we normally make. Yeah. And that hurt us. Honey, how do you want to get through this? I don't know. I have you don't have you the right have shoes boots. on. Go for it. I'll follow you. I'm going to just go straight through. I've got okay. mud boots on. All right. These boots I have on, by the way, 
are like the best. These Tidewees, right? Yeah. Love these boots. I'm going through the mud. I'm up on higher ground. <sighs> we were walking around yesterday, so we're on our way to collect some um oh my gosh chaga. chaga i couldn't remember the name of it for a second so our youtube revenue has been down 75 percent and we are i guess searching for other ways to help with you know covering the cost of the channel and what it takes to make these videos you know we and live those, we and do... finish a house <laughs> yeah but inflation is killing us yes it is and we do need to raise more money to finish the build on this house Big time. I mean, we're both working jobs now, part-time jobs. As much as we are working in every spare moment to work on the house. One more year, Rich can collect Social Security. Right. And, uh, you know, we've literally spent every penny of our savings and our retirement that we saved. Right. So, I mean, why would we choose to do this? I was just going to say, believe me, this was not what we had anticipated for our future. You know, it dev definitely devastates the land. Um, especially the first couple of years, it looks pretty bad. But, uh, you know, like I said, we're doing what we can to raise money here. And, you know, this is a nice chunk of money. This is going to help us this year, hopefully be enough to finish the roofs and the porches on the house right we're gonna make it be enough yeah that's why we diy everything that's why we're really you know frugal and and getting our kitchen cabinets off facebook wow look at the size of that one rich yeah that's a good looking log holy moly it doesn't look like it has a heart rod or anything wow. going on that's beautiful that's a big one nice yeah yeah so you know temu they gave us all those free products that we chose but they also paid us quite a bit of money and the value of that anchor solex yes. portable power station we gave that to our electrician in return for a barter deal when it comes time to wire up the upstairs he said he would take care of that for us so things have a way of working out. They definitely do. And just so you know, half of the things you buy on Amazon these days are drop shipped from a company. In China. Yep. And you really can't get away no. with buying something that's not made in China. Right. There's a, there's a lot of haters out there about against companies like Timu, but in all reality, Amazon is really no different. There's just a lot of different little companies that are listed on amazon that sell products in china yep so i'm not saying it's right i'm just saying that it is what it is and we're making the most of it and we definitely choose what we want to do reviews on we don't oh, yeah. want to just you know get paid to make some shill review about something that you know we don't believe in exactly which is why we chose when we did that review to do it on firewood processing. We were actually really curious, but we really never wanted to spend the money. So basically that's why we do what we do and we're doing what we're doing, basically to raise money so we can finish our build. Uh, so we're sorry, not sorry. And we mean that in the most nicest way possible. We're doing what we have to do to get by. And uh, we hope that you continue to support us and by watching our videos. Today we worked on the island. Is it an island or is it a peninsula? <laughs> you're right. I think you're right, honey. I think it definitely is a peninsula. That's just the weight of the world. It's not personal, it's just how it works.
More to come on the logging, so stay tuned. Let's go get that chaga. Food, chunk of chonga. Chunk of chunk of chunk of chunk of chaga. A chimichanga, chunk of chonga. Chimichanga. A churro. Oh, that's my hand. There it is. I'm Kathy. And I'm Rich. And we're creating a simpler life in the Adirondacks. But simple doesn't mean easy. Not one bit. <laughs> All right, let's go home. There's a lot more where that came from. We'll see you in the next video.